Christy's here. Hi, everybody. Today I have um, a message from a friend of mine, Kate, from Facebook. She says, Hi, Misty. Could you give me some advice? I feel I must be putting the wrong things on Facebook as not many people seem to respond. I'm trying to raise DMD awareness in between working 30 hours a week and helping Allie with my grandson. Could you advise where I'm going wrong? I've had a response from our justice minister, even though he's not my local MP. I'm praying he will be the key to at least get justice for Duchenne families over here. Please read note on my wall and let me know what you think. Um, I did go to your wall, Kate, and I read your note. There's nothing wrong with your note. There's nothing wrong with anything that you're doing. There's some, th um, some advice that I do have, however, though, that I think this advice is going to help everybody across the board um, just advocate a little bit better because sometimes we put messages up and we kind of feel inadequate. We don't feel like it's being heard. And so here's some, a few things that you can do that can help um, increase that. Because I did see people actually inter involving themselves with you in your posts, so that's really, really great. And your friends are there. Okay, number one, um, which you seem to be doing okay with, but really, really focus on this, is um, make sure you balance your Duchenne muscular dystrophy messages with things that inspire you, things that make you smile, laugh, or touch you in some way. Um, you know, of YouTube videos or other people's posts or, you know, um, just, just kind of hone in on that and, and be aware of, you know, nobody wants to hear the gloom and doom of Duchenne every single time they come to your wall or see you post. That gets really old. I mean, even, even for, you know, people that are in within the Duchenne community, it gets so tiring because it's such a hard job to do. And so we need things that are going to make us smile and feel uplifted and connected to each other. And so make sure you're balancing your Duchenne messages. And uh, number two, um, if you want more people to hear your advocacy message, that means you need to be friending more people. And I'm not just talking about, you know, just friending just anybody. You know, friend people within the Duchenne community. Tell them why you're friending them. Tell them where you saw them. They, maybe they posted something that intrigued you. Maybe they have a great smile or the profile picture is excellent. You know, be sincere and, you know, start at least five to ten new people every single day or what you can do. The idea is you bring on fresh new people to see the Duchenne message and what you're doing. And, and think about this. hundred, The average person on Facebook has 124 friends. So 124 friends are seeing all their posts and how they interact with you. So just bring, just bring in new fresh people all the time so you can um, keep it fresh. And also it's awesome connecting with other people to grow the Ardushan message even bigger. Um, and number three is, um, you know, get, I really encourage you to get out of sight of Facebook. I know you said you didn't have a lot of computer uh, knowledge or experience. Um, the only way you're going to do that is start learning about different things you can do. And the best thing you can do is start a, a, your own blog. This way, you can post anything you want on there. You can post pictures. Your family and friends can go there. You can have people come in here. You'll have a Duchenne awareness little banner on there. There's tons of Duchenne parent blogs starting. You're starting to see this trend of people doing it more and more. And you're going to make, you know, going to hear that. And what's awesome is Google is listening. They see every time somebody types Duchenne muscular dystrophy on a blog outside of Facebook. So, just keep those things in mind, and let me see, oh, another thing you can do is, you know, besides getting outside of Facebook, uh, go to Twitter, see what's happening there. Uh, the Netherlands are kicking a U.S. butt on, on the Twitter, so I'd really love to see more uh, U.S. Uh, Duchenne parents on Twitter. That would be fabulous to see that. Um, and then post comments on YouTube. You see, people are putting Duchenne videos up on YouTube. You know, type Duchenne muscular dystrophy in there. Duchenne muscular dystrophy treatments. You know, start looking at some of these videos, share them, comment on them. And it's all about building this. You're not always going to see your personal uh, results as far as uh, building advocacy because it's this slow momentum that being built, being built. And eventually you're going to start seeing that on the other side. So, uh, Kate, I hope you've gotten a lot. Mwah. Thank you for asking me for advice. Um, I hope I have helped you and everybody else watching. If you like this video, you know, give me a thumbs up, like it, respond, comment. If there's another video you'd like me to shoot, another topic you'd like to hear my opinion about, post that below too. Send me a message on Facebook and that might be somebody messaging me right now. So again, Misty Vanderwill here. Like the video, don't like the video, comment below and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.